Hey, what up, guys? So coming to you this morning, we're going to do the weekend recap from uh, pretty much Friday, uh, Friday, September 13th, and Saturday, September 14th. We had three cards go on. Um, I'm going to break those down. You know, I didn't really get to see a lot of boxing last weekend. Kind of distracted, had some things going on. Uh, good distractions, though, you know, so nothing bad. But, uh, you know, I, I definitely read up on them. I saw the highlights. Um, no real big surprises, but let's jump right into it. We'll start with Friday night's The Zone card. Um, that really only the main event was relevant. Saw Devin Haney take on some, I'm not even going to try the dude's first name anymore. His last name is Abdullayev. Um, Devin Haney smashed on him, fourth round TKO. He captured the uh, WBC interim title with that win. Um, we'll get into his what's next, uh, you know, on Sunday when I do when I do that. But, uh, yeah, you know, no surprise here. Good, solid win for Haney as he uh, captures a small piece of a, of a world title being the interim champion at lightweight. Um, next, we're going to look at the Saturday cards. We'll start with the DAZN card there, which was also Golden Boy. Um, Ryan Garcia, no surprise, got a win on the undercard. He was the co-feature to uh, that night. Got a win over a replacement opponent. Um, you know, no shock there. Still undefeated. And then um, there's not really telling what's going on next. I know him and Golden Boy are not on good terms right now, though, so that really hurts him. But um, we'll see uh, see where it goes because this guy's been talking a lot of shit about Golden Boy lately. And I know that him and um, I believe that – I don't know if it was Oscar De La Hoya or, or Eric Gomez, the president of Golden Boy, got into it uh, recently. Uh, next, we're going to look at uh, the main event, which was – which was Jaime Maguia, the WBO super welterweight champ at 154. He defended his title against Patrick Alotti, dominated him. Uh, fourth round TKO win, no surprise here. Coming in, he said that was his last fight at middleweight. We're going to see if that truly is. There's uh, things that other things have been changing uh, in the last couple days. Uh, we'll get into that with his what's next on Sunday, though. So talk about that on Sunday. And then the ESPN Plus card. Pretty much was a triple header. We'll start with the junior welterweight showdown that saw former two division champ Jose Pedraza against uh, Jose Zapeta. Uh, Zapeta, I called it. He um, he went out there and showed that he wasn't just a fluke back in February when he fought um, when he fought Jose Ramirez for the world title um, and came up short by a majority decision. He went out there against Pedraza. I think uh, most people felt Pedraza was the favorite, and Zapeta outboxed him. I'll work them. Um, I looked at the scores. He pretty much won eight rounds of two, seven rounds of three. So it was a pretty solid win right there. And I, and to me, that's a big win for Cepeda because it puts him, you know, right back in contention and let, it puts everybody on point at 154. Like, hey, I wasn't just a fluke and Ramirez was just overlooking me. So a good win for him on the undercard. Uh, the co-feature saw Emmanuel Navarrete, the 122-pound WBO Super Bantamweight champion. Saw him make his next defense against little-known Juan Alorde. This was his second defense in just four weeks. Um, and he went out and destroyed Alorde, scoring a fourth-round TKO in that one and retaining his world title. Um, there's been talks uh, that Ray Vargas wants to unify titles against uh, Navarrete, which would be huge. Bob Arum says he's interested in that. So we'll see if those two guys can get together. That would be a big-time Mexican unification showdown right there. I would love to see it. Neither guy has a mandatory due as far as I know. And, um, yeah, I, I think that would just be an absolute fucking war right there. I would love to see that fight. Um, the main event, Tyson Fury, former unified heavyweight champion, took on Otto Whalen. 12-round um, unanimous decision. No surprise here. He suffered a bad cut early in the fight, and he just kind of picked and poked and boxed and did his thing and scored a one-sided unanimous decision. No surprise here. Um Fury will get into his what's next on Sunday. Again, no real surprises, just, uh, you know, kind of um, good action. I think the guy that stole the whole weekend, in my opinion, in terms of surprising anything, was Jose Cepeda, or his win over Pedraza. But, um, you know, all in all, decent action, but nothing nothing great. But it was a good weekend for, uh, for boxing, and that's pretty much it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you later. True boxing. May hit the truth.